Justin Trudeau may have made the biggest mistake of his political life last week when he announced that he was going to give special exemption from the carbon tax to Atlantic Canadians. Now, the Atlantic Canadians had been given special exemption from the carbon tax for the first four years it existed anyway. They had their own provincial plans and the federal government said, oh, yes, they're, they're not nearly as strenuous as ours. They don't charge as much money for using carbon as, as we do in Ottawa. But, you know, you can use them yourself. That, that's fine. And then finally, the federal government said, yeah, yeah, that's not really the way it's going to work. We're going to start charging you the federal carbon tax. And on one day, July 1st of 2023, gasoline went up 14 cents a litre. In Atlantic Canada, Atlantic Canadians aren't stupid. They knew why there was this huge price jump. They knew it was the federal government's doing, and they rebelled. Now, this is a region that has 24 of 32 liberal MPs. 32 MPs in the region, 24 of them are liberals. In 2015, all 32 of them were liberals. They're a loyal liberal region. And yet, the liberals poll numbers started to collapse in Atlantic Canada after the feds imposed the carbon tax that the rest of the country was paying in Atlantic Canada. It also, on the same day, it imposed this thing called the clean fuel regulation, which adds about six cents a liter to the price of gasoline. But uh, that's not really what got the liberals in trouble. So here is Justin Trudeau a week ago on Thursday saying, yes, you know, well, we will give you Lots of money in Atlantic Canada. Please forgive us. We will give you an exemption from the carbon tax on home heating fuel for, for three years until after the next election. Maybe you'll forget about us by then. Maybe you'll forget that we imposed the carbon tax on you until after the next election. By which time it will be double what it is now. But after that, the liberals might be safely back in power. But, you know, the other regions of the country had asked for exemptions from the carbon tax. The, the, the provincial government in Alberta, Saskatchewan, Ontario, and others had taken the federal government to court to have the carbon tax declared an unconstitutional intrusion on provincial jurisdiction, which it clearly was. And the Supreme Court basically said, yes, yes. It's an intrusion on provincial jurisdiction, but, you know, global warming is so scary we have to let the feds do this. So it's been a huge issue for years in the West, on the prairies, and to a lesser extent in Ontario. And every time one of those regions or provinces has said to the federal government, give us exemption from the carbon tax, they've said, oh, no, we couldn't possibly do that. That would ruin our emissions reduction scheme. You, you, you can't be released from the carbon tax because that's exactly what we need you to do. You need to be trapped in the carbon tax so that you will reduce your emissions. Besides, we're going to give you lots of big rebates. So, you know, really, if you sat down at the end of the year and calculated things, you'd probably come ahead a little bit. Now, the provincial, or the, sorry, the parliamentary budget office has said that's rubbish, that you are going to pay a lot more in carbon tax and you get back in rebates. But that's always been the federal excuse. And the other federal excuse is we can't take carbon tax off of groceries where it is really hitting hard because that would then discourage you from reducing your carbon emissions. So they've been asked to take it off of fishermen, ranchers, farmers, truck drivers, grocers, in order to reduce Canadians' grocery prices. And no, 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 no. they much rather say, no, it's the big bad grocery store companies that are causing the inflation. It's not us. And the thing that happened last Thursday was the federal government finally admitted that indeed the carbon tax is a political ploy. If you squawk loud enough, if you're the Atlantic caucus and you're mostly liberal and you squawk really loud, yeah, we'll give you some exemption. But in Alberta, where they don't vote for liberals very much, there are two in the, in the entire province. In Alberta, no, 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 we're not going to do that. In fact, we're going to impose more restrictions on your electricity, more restrictions on your oil sands development, more restrictions on pipelines, just to make you angry. Because in the environment is so important, we couldn't possibly give you an exemption. If you're in Alberta 
And Goody Hutchings, who is the rural economic development minister, who's from a riding in Newfoundland, said as much on the weekend. She said, yeah, if the prairies don't like it, they should elect more liberals. Well, I can tell you something. This little move by Trudeau, if there was any chance that there would be more liberals elected west of Ontario, has killed that. And I think he may have killed his own chances of re-election because Ontarians aren't dumb either. They realize they're getting hosed on the carbon tax and Atlantic Canadians are getting a break. It's just bad national unity politics. For Post Media, I'm Lauren Gunter.